Hey everybody, it's TR back with another RV How Not To video. This time, don't buy this product. So what this is, is the Bay Marine Systems 250 amp, 3 8 lugged bus bar. I bought it on Amazon, cost me about 40 bucks. The story goes like this. About a month ago now, I was helping a friend of mine, Andrew, who's also a subscriber, who's parked over here a couple hundred feet away, put in the Victron BMV 712 battery monitoring system. And we were using these bus bars. Well, we got the bus bar in and we had to move a cable and the nut was seized on the bolt. And so it took us three hours to dremel the heads off these bolts so we could get the cables back off without cutting the ends off. And that was a problem. It also made me really nervous because I had the very same bus bar that I was planning on installing for my battery monitoring system, which I just finished up yesterday. So I thought to myself, I better test this. And so I tested one of these and sure enough, it seized on the bolt. Now keep in mind, this is an RV electrical system. RVs roll down the road, they rattle, they shake, they you know, it's like a rolling earthquake. And so these need to be snug. Now, not over tight, and that's my point. So I have here a little short stubby socket, okay? And I'm going to tighten this bolt. I want you to see that it's working freely now. Okay. By the way, I've already seized the other three of these, but I'll show this one to you because I was testing to make sure it just wasn't me. All right, so. You always have to reverse the socket, don't you? Okay, so I'm just going to tighten this down. You can see I'm not over cranking on it. Okay, so that's just snug. All right. Um, I would actually like to have it a little snugger than this in my RV, but we'll deal with this later. If you look there, the washer is just barely compressed. I don't know, can you actually see that? Yeah, okay. Now, here's the trick. Let's try to take it back off. You're done. There is no amount of force you can put on those to get them off. So you're taking your chances if you buy this bus bar. So I think it's clear I wasn't over tightening these bolts, okay? I was being careful because I already had had a bad experience with this. My mistake was is I didn't come right home and test them and get online at that point and return them. The problem was that I'd shipped them elsewhere because I was going to be doing projects when I get to my dad's and I was just going to save that for when I got out there but I got to thinking I better have it shipped to me. So by the time I got it shipped to him, then shipped from him to me, and then procrastinated for a couple weeks on installing my battery monitoring system, uh, my return window was closed. So hopefully I'm gonna help you prevent the same mistake. Don't buy this part. You'll be disappointed like I am. If you found value in this video, I'd appreciate your thumbs up. Those are always great to get. Helps encourage me to make more RV how-to videos. I already have a really good catalog of RV how-to videos, everything from replacing your roof to your holding tank drain valves, a really popular video on how to maintain your RV's holding tanks, and others. So be sure to like and subscribe and do all those social things. But thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until we get together again for another RV how-to video, peace.